Why? When y'all have an affiliation to Jay-Z in some sort of way, y'all be thinking that y'all can disrespect and violate. Baby, since the Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion feud escalated, it has become very clear that something is going on with Nicki Minaj and the Carters. And now Nicki is making it clear again that just because people are close to Beyonce and Jay-Z, that doesn't give them the right to disrespect her. As a matter of fact, sources very close to her are saying that Nicki is very cautious about Jay-Z and Beyonce pulling a Carrie Hilson on her, and their mega project is Megan the Stallion. This is about Jay-Z. This is about Jay-Z. And excuse me, because I'm not trying to be fresh at all. But um, Jay-Z has this way of kind of like presenting himself in the culture as like this Daddy Warbucks kind of figure. Ciao, y'all got Azalea Ebanks entering the chat too? Anyway, apparently Nikki is not just cautious of Jay-Z and Beyonce alone, she's also cautious about other people in the industry too. Cause apparently that mistake at the Grammys was not just a mistake. The Grammys allegedly intentionally wanted to embarrass Nikki. We'll get to that. But first, let's get into how Jay-Z and Beyonce are allegedly trying to sabotage Nikki. Y'all, unless I'm the one who has been imagining things. Haven't Nicki and the Carters always been on good terms? I mean, they seem to be on pretty good terms when Beyonce publicly acknowledged Nicki's birthday as well as the birth of her son in 2020, and Bay even sent her a handwritten note welcoming Nicki to motherhood. The Carters also seemed to be on good terms with Nicki when they congratulated her on receiving the Vanguard Award at the 2022 MTV VMAs. In fact, as recently as July 2023, Beyonce sent a number of pink Ivy Park items to Nicki to celebrate her title track for the Barbie film soundtrack. Well, there are some people who have also pointed out that the last time Nikki attended the pre-Grammy Rock Nation brunch was in 2015. And at the time, she was dating Meek Mill, who would go on to become partners with Jay-Z in a push for prison reform. So is it possible that behind the scenes, they've actually had problems, but have only been trying to put up appearances for the public? I don't know, guys, but whatever left a bad taste in Nikki's mouth with the Carters possibly took place towards the end of 2023. And whatever happened was so bad that it had Nicki dissing Beyonce in one of her recent songs, Press Play, where she raps, they said, why you can't Beyonce? Daddy wasn't no businessman. Mama wasn't no business owner. Mm, what an idiot. You can't be me. I'm already it. Yeah, she really did say that. Next, we had this whole Megan Thee Stallion feud boiling over and the way Nicki was pressed, child, I knew something else was up. I don't think one line in Megan's song, Hiss, warranted the clap back Nicki gave for days. Well, now the streets are saying that the bigger issue is not even with Megan. It's with Jay-Z and Beyonce. For starters, Rock Nation, which is owned by Jay-Z, is the company behind Megan Thee Stallion's success. And according to various sources, Rock Nation is pumping so much money to push Megan Thee Stallion and intentionally fueling the beef with Nicki Minaj to push her out of the business. Now, when the beef between Nicki and Megan escalated, fans thought that Nicki overreacted after Megan rapped about Megan's Law, obviously that touched a nerve because her husband Kenneth Petty has been in the database for over two decades after serving four years in prison for you know what. But what many people probably don't know is that in 2020, Nikki's brother Jelani Mirage was also sentenced to 25 years in a New York prison for basically the same thing as her husband. Before sentencing, Nikki actually wrote a letter on his behalf, hoping to decrease his time behind bars by defining him as a gentle and selfless man, but Jelani still had to serve time. Now, as much as to Nikki, that line about Megan's law was pretty personal. It's allegedly not just about Megan, cause Nikki is somehow convinced that Rock Nation is the one behind her sabotage. And she made that pretty clear when she went on her rant against Megan. In one of the tweets, Nikki claimed Rock Nation was pouring money into pushing his to outperform Bigfoot by writing, spending so much money, but she's a little broke independent artist. Desiree, you gotta let it go, baby. The world knows she's at K. 
can't rap. Stop trying to make Fetch happen. I just put out a song with no promo, no video. It's already number two. In a different tweet where Nicki also mentioned Rock Nation, she was like, y'all want to bring up my family members and lying on your dead mother? Lied to Gail, lied on and effed your best friend man, told me to drink and go to the clinic if I was pregnant, all because I wouldn't let your funky butt pour liquor down my throat? She thinks she a bully because she got a Rock Nation brunch every year. Be mad at party. He told all your tea, but you taking shots at my family? Get up on your good foot. Go apologize to your mother, nasty serpent. Repent. In fact, according to Nikki, Bigfoot was just the start of her tear on industry figures, as she also promised that the CEO of Rock Nation, Desiree Perez, was up next. She tweeted, on the next song, I delve into all the people Desiree allegedly fired for unknown reasons. Other things as well. So many people were blindsided and hurt by her. Allegedly, she's willing to go broke to try to replace me? Fix it, Jesus. Megan aside, you know why I think it's not just about Megan, but Jay-Z and Beyonce and the entire Rock Nation? When Nicki called out Elliot Wilson for disrespecting her, Jay-Z also caught another stray. What happened there was that Elliot was on a live stream with Kai Sinat to promote her new album in December 2023. Now, Elliot has previously been vocal about established artists being snubbed for big interviews in favor of new viral artists, and he mockingly posted a video of Nicki Minaj twerking with the caption, Hip Hop Journalism. Then Nicki hit back with, Elliot, if you'd spit Jay-Z D out for one second, you'd be able to be happy for the newcomers. Isn't that how y'all tried to tarnish my image by saying I'm not welcoming newbies in? Did songs with all of them though. Why you not happy for a young black man like Kai? If you ask Nicki, Elliot is one of the mouthpieces being used to sabotage her. You know there are people who actually believe that there's an agenda against Nicki Minaj, like JT who straight up said, I salute Nicki Minaj for not tapping out and still dropping music knowing it's so many odds against her. It's big money to end Nicki, but it's a bigger God. Keep being you. Your legacy will never be undone. Nicki Minaj, I love you. In addition, there have been people saying that the Grammys intentionally embarrassed Nicki Minaj. In case you missed it, before the televised version, the Recording Academy had been presenting a number of this year's awards during the Grammys premiere ceremony and posting those winners on the X. When the Academy presented Best Rap Song, they posted that Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice's Barbie World from the Barbie soundtrack was the winner. But those watching the premiere ceremony, which streamed live on their YouTube channel, saw that Scientists and Engineers by Killer Mike actually won. Now they quickly deleted the post, but it still caused an uproar from Barb's given the Grammy would have been Nicki's first win. A lot of people were just like, why would the Grammys post about Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice and say they won the Grammys in a tweet and then just delete it? I mean, considering everything that Nicki has been saying as of late about people trying to sabotage her, to her fans, that moment was further proof that the industry is indeed plotting against her. As you know, Nicki already doesn't have a good relationship with the Grammys, and she previously spoke out against the Recording Academy in 2022 for categorizing her song Super Freaky Girl in the pop category instead of rap to apparently remove her from the category that they didn't want competition in. Again in 2020, she called out the Grammys for not giving her the Best New Artist Award when she had seven songs charting on Billboard at the time. And now they mistakenly announce her as a winner and then delete the tweet? Of course it was going to look suspicious. It's giving someone made a call but the social media intern was the last to know. Anyway, Anyway, Barb's were quick to point out that just like Nikki has been saying, people in the industry are really trying to sabotage her. Like one person wrote, but why did they announce Nikki won on the official Academy Twitter page, but the show just says someone else? Now I see why Nikki thinks everyone's an op now. Like this is strange. And another person added, but when Nikki said the industry is plotting against her, y'all think she's crazy. At Recording Academy, y'all weird ASF. Well, as far as Nikki is concerned, at the front line of the people trying to sabotage her is Rock Nation, which means Jay-Z and Beyonce are complicit. And you know what? Recently, Megan also responded to Nicki's diss when she decided to celebrate her success with her fans on Station Head on Twitter Spaces. During the conversation, she mentioned Rock Nation when she said, don't make me call Rock Nation in response to the feud. Child, is Megan low-key also confirming that Rock Nation is involved? Could Nicki be right about Jay-Z, Beyonce, and other people in the industry actually trying to sabotage her like they did with Kerry Hilson? I would love to know what you think, so drop those thoughts in the comments section below.